What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we're taking a second look at Mono Red, however, with one stipulation, and that is we have Obosh as our companion. Now, a lot of these Obosh decks that I have seen running around have been Rakdos, uh, which makes a lot of sense, but uh, I happened upon this list, and I was like, you know what? Let's try this, and let's see how it compares to the original mono red list <clears throat> that we played, I think, last week, maybe the week before. Uh, now, the cards that we don't get, uh, which is really, really crucial, because Obosh, of course, does have the deck stipulation. Everything in our list has to have an odd converted mana cost. Uh, that is very, very important. What that means for us is we do not get things like Robber of the Rich. Uh, we don't get Runaway Steamkin. We don't get Rimrock Knight. We don't get Torbran. Uh, I think those are the big ones. That That's, I mean, that's a lot of stuff that Mono Red then does not get. So in place of that, what we're doing is replacing it with a few different little one drops here uh, and then Heraldic, Her Heraldic Banner. Uh, so... Let's kind of run through this. Obviously, Obosh is our companion here. The idea here is that it doubles all of the damage uh, that our creatures will do. That's very, very powerful. So the question becomes, is that the trade-off that we're... Or is that a, a reasonable trade-off uh, for getting rid of, you know, all these cards that we just talked about? Uh, we do have the four Fervent Champion here, of course. Just a 1-1 Haster, obviously going to be a good include. Uh, for Grim Initiate... I love this card, especially in this list. Uh, it dies, it creates another 1-1, one, one, uh, and it has first strike itself. So anytime you know, you're know you dealing double the damage with it, it's going to do a lot. Uh, Scorch Spitter, uh, obviously just a really easy way to kind of punch through a lot of damage. 10 Street Dodger, really, really nice because you can make it unblockable, which is really, really good. I, I should say generally unblockable, but ge I mean, uh, most people don't run Defender. Uh, three Shock as a little bit of interaction uh, and some burn. We also have the Bone Crusher Giant, and we do get away with playing Stomp in this list because the main uh, card here is the Bone Crusher Giant, which does have an odd converted mana cost. So we get a few extra versions of Shock there. For the four full, full four Anax, I swear I can speak, uh, and this card is obviously just a great include. Uh, anytime something dies, we get a little 1-1. One, one. Uh, if something dies that has four or more uh, power, then obviously we're going to get more than that, which is great. Uh, Phoenix of Ash, awesome card. Uh, I love this because it just offers a little bit of recursion with these mono red lists, as well as a way just to punch through damage in the air, because a lot of times the board gets kind of clogged up. Uh, light up the stage, pretty easy include just to make sure that we're continuing uh, to spin our wheels here and we're not uh, running out of gas. Uh, the Heraldic Banner is really, really good because obviously we are a mono red list. Everything in our deck is going to be uh, getting that plus one, plus zero bonus. Uh, and doubling that damage just makes it even better. So that really, really stacks up damage, like I said, especially on the Grim Initiate. Uh, once you get this out on top of it, maybe even more than just one, uh, it's a, you know, it's a 2-1 first striker, which is going to deal double the damage. So it's going to be dealing four damage, which all of a sudden makes it really, really difficult to block. Um, as far as lands go, pretty straightforward. 21 lands, 17 mountains, and four castle embreath. Obviously a great way to pump up the team as well. And the idea here is we really don't want any tapped lands. So no, uh, fable passage, nothing like that, because, you know, as great as deck thinning is, uh, this deck really, really wants to hit its curve. So... That's what we're looking at. Pretty straightforward. We're going to do the best we can to uh, hopefully get a few wins with this list. I do imagine that, you know, we'll we'll hopefully get at least one or two uh, with a deck like this. Mono Red generally does really, really well uh, in the best of one ladder. Uh, pretty obvious there. But very, very excited to be jumping back in. Uh, we did not get any videos up yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, we actually tried to record um, a podcast episode for the first time in quite a while. Uh, ran into some issues after the fact, which was kind of annoying, um, but that's okay. We'll um, we'll figure out how to get around it so we can get those episodes out for you guys. Uh, looks like we're against Yorian here, so the name of the game is Let's Be Quicker. Um, we do have, I mean, we got our land that we need. We've got a lot of uh, potential power on the board. Uh, let's go ahead and get this down. Uh, let's go ahead and attack here. 
and I think I'm actually going to light up the stage. Uh, if nothing else, to make sure that we can get a land drop, uh, which we did not, which is not good for us. So let's hope that we can get there. Uh, some exciting news. Uh, very, very exciting news, actually. I got the uh, confirmation this morning um, that the rest of the land cycle that we created, we've got a few here. Um, the rest of those are on their way, uh, and I could not be more excited. I... I am really, really looking forward to getting those out for you guys. I know a lot of people were asking. That's why I'm mentioning it. Um, a lot of people were asking, hey, you know, when are they going to be available? I'd love to get the full cycle. I know you've got the islands available, but the cycle is really what I'm after. Totally understand. Um, we happened to order the proofs off of the islands, which is why that those were available first. Um, but very, very excited to say they will be here very soon. So uh, you can look forward to those uh, in not too much time actually um so my question is do we just shock this and then drop uh or and then just like attack in or how do we want to do that uh i think it makes more sense to do it the other way right let's do that let's drop whoops there we go first strike always always forget that um and we'll pass the turn here we may shock them uh, at some point during their turn. We'll see. Okay. Jeskai fires Yorian. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. If that's all they're gonna play, then we are going to go ahead and shock them. Uh, and chances are here we kind of just get outpowered, uh, which is a bit of a worry. Um, but we're gonna do the best we can. Let's do that. Let's swing in. Um, I guess technically we should pass. Uh, normally I would play Bone Crusher here, but because we're probably going to get outpowered on the board, I'd almost rather just shock them twice, especially if they're going to Deafening Clarion, as we expect. Um, let's go ahead and pass. Thankfully, because of Grib Initiate, we still get those two 1-1s one -one back. So, or excuse me, it becomes a 2-2, two -two, I should say. Uh, yeah, that's actually fine. Go ahead and shock him. And let's go ahead and shock him again. Yes, we could shock Ashiok. No, I don't really care to, to be honest. Um, the only major thing that it's going to get is the Phoenix, uh, which sucks, but it's not really the worst thing in the world. If we get a land, we're feeling okay because we can get Obosh down. Uh, if not, I mean, we're just going to start playing Bone Crusher Giants. Uh, okay, well, in that case, then, let's actually just attack in. Uh, again, not worrying too much about the Ashiok. Uh, I just don't think it's really our priority. We are mono-red. We do have to consider ourselves the, uh, the deck that's just going to try and win as quickly as possible. And this is kind of nice. We get to get Fervent Champion down as well as a Bone Crusher Giant. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we... Kind of just really hope they don't have another Deafening Glareon, um, which they very well might. They've played two so far, I believe. Oh, they did have it. Well, you know, you do what you can. Um, we do have to keep the aggression on, so I don't think we were wrong to play those out. Um, and they're not playing, at least as of yet, the big haymakers that I was kind of expecting. Um, so we'll see what they do. That is a big haymaker. Uh, for this deck, I should say. Um, they get to reset and then obviously draw a card here, which is quite good. Yorian, a very, very good card. Uh, part of that, uh, attempted recorded podcast episode, I should say, was, um, ooh, scried both to the bottom. Very interesting. Uh, part of that was, okay, let's do, first of all, let's do this. We're going to play out both Bone Crushers here. Uh, I know that's a bit all-in, because if they do have their fourth Deafening Clarion, uh, that could be terrible for us, but I think we're going to bank on it. I think we kind of have to. Um, now these, you know, with Obosh next turn, this becomes, either one of these becomes a lethal threat. Uh, so they do have to deal with that. Um, anyway, yeah, part of that podcast episode was, uh, and really the big question that we looked to answer was, uh, do we feel that Companion is truly a broken mechanic or just that 
you know, we have a lot of broken panda or uh, companion cards. Uh, I'm not going to say what we landed on solely because we very well might try and, um, you know, rehash that episode at some point. Um, but I will say we definitely landed on the fact that there are a few broken uh, cards out there. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we actually, no, we're not going to attack. All right, let's hope we can get there. Um, very strong possibility that they just sweep again, uh, considering they also have Shatter the Sky in the list. Um, that doesn't matter to us. We just kind of have to hope they don't get a sweeper. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. The fourth Deafening Clarion. So we've been up against five sweepers. And I will say, considering we've been up against five sweepers and we've gotten them down to three, I'm okay with that. Like, <laughs> uh, that hurts because, like I said, that's the bad interaction where they really get to, to nail us for having those in the graveyard, but that's okay. Land, not very helpful, but we just have to hope we can do it. Tasty. Uh, might have been better, actually, to have only played out one of those um, phoenixes. Maybe that was the mistake. We could have just pumped it up. And here, I do believe we're probably just in the... Oh, <laughs> it's an Outlaw's Merriment list. So that's pretty cool. Okay. We'll see what we draw, but chances are this is going to save them enough life that... Um, we can't really do too much. Um, once this is online, it's very difficult for us to actually do anything. Um, and that was what I meant by we just need to be faster. Um, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede here only because we're not going to be able to deal enough damage per turn to mitigate uh, the Dream Trawler there. Um, so that's okay. Unfortunately, we did not get there with that first game, uh, and part of that might have actually been my mistake. Uh, I do think had we pumped one of the Phoenix, like played one, pumped it, attacked in, um, and then done the same thing on the following turn, we would have won, uh, if I'm mathing correctly. Um, let me know in the comments section, because I might not be. So that was a bit of a misplay. Um, yeah, we'll keep... It's actually a fairly strong hand, in my opinion. Uh... Let's get this out there, and let's attack him. Potentially another mono red list. Um, so the question is, do we want to light up the stage? I'm going to say, whoops, first strike damage. Uh, yes, let's light up the stage. Probably should have waited to play a land, but that's okay. And, you know, we get something out of it here. Is it? Ominous Seas. Okay. Uh, let's play Castle. Yeah, let's play Annex. Uh, it just gets us that protection, uh, which is great. Um, and it's just a very powerful card, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Um, yep. No, I don't think that was a misplay, by the way. Yes, I could have made this unblockable. Um, the plan is just to shock them. Um, that might have been a misplay, I guess, to have dealt more damage, but that's okay. So next turn we have Obosh, which is going to be really, really good. Um... Let's go ahead and shock them. Yes, they kill this. We get two 1-1s one out of the deal, and then Obosh is going to double the damage of everything. Um, I did misplay a little bit. I should have played those two Grim Initiates first, uh, so that was a mistake, but that's okay. Let's 
Uh, these cycler lists, this is it cycler list, I played actually at one point, and it is very, very cool. Um, but uh, didn't feel 100% great. Um, yeah, there we go. Didn't feel 100% great. Uh, excuse me. It was fine, I think, and it, it got some cool value, and I did like, I liked that that deck more than, um, oh, guys, let's open a pack. I like that deck more than I liked the uh, Boros version, uh, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, look at that. Apex of Forever. Um, let's go ahead and do our Mastery Tree as well. Might as well. Hey, speaking of Brokus. Um, Brokus? Brokus? I don't know. One of the two. Uh, Alright, last game. Uh, we'll, of course, do a second video, so don't worry. Uh, also, just want to thank everybody, by the way. Uh, if you missed... Um, the Akoria giveaway, uh, we had a huge, huge number of people enter that, uh, which was amazing, by the way. I, we cannot thank you enough. Um, the support was phenomenal uh, and truly means a lot to us because obviously being a small time channel, any amount of support is really nice. Um, and so to to be able to say we've, we've gotten that much support is pretty huge. Um, Let's do this, let's do this, and we're just going to go ahead and shock this. Um, kind of just want to be super aggressive here, I think, uh, against this, like, my assumption is, like, Mardu Knights kind of deck. Uh, and that does deal some damage there, so, sure. Thankfully, this blocks, or these make it very, very difficult to uh, truly attack in. Um, that... We could have, I guess, done that. Maybe that was better. Misplaying a little bit here, but we'll figure it out. Um, let's make you unblockable. You. 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 Uh, I think I missed that up a little bit. Yeah, I did. Whoops. Misplaying a lot, but that's okay. Uh, they get to sack the goat here, um, which is fine. Not amazing, but fine. Um, definitely should have just played out the banner. That was dumb. Um, here we do get, I mean, three damage in, and we get rid of their goat token. <laughs> um, but because of my misclick here, they actually get to kill off a fervent champion. So that was a bit of a waste. Um, entirely me playing too fast. Try and keep it tight and, and clean from here on out. Um... Very cool card. Hmm. Um. Does mean we get to swing in with this at least. Uh, we're gonna probably take some hits here though. Thankfully this <clears throat> moth does not have lifelink. Um. That would be a problem. All right. Um, next turn, if we get a lamb, we just drop Obosh, which is good. That's very bad for us. This doesn't have life link. Um, huh. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do this. Oops. Let's make this unblockable. <clears throat> so then they are pretty obligated to block something here. Gonna block both, okay. They can sack this if they'd like. Kind of surprised they didn't, but that's fine. Oh, duh, the moth. Pretty good, pretty good. Still get three damage in, uh, and I like the 10 Street Dodger. I am fairly impressed with that, just because it's giving us a way to punch through at least a little bit of damage, so it does kind of make them have to... You know, consider all the options, is what I will say. 
Um, so. Really, really glad this doesn't bring back Seraph of the Scales. That would be terrible. Uh, and here we can, like, double up on these if we'd like. Um, actually, we... Yeah, we play Obosh, I guess, but we'll we'll figure it out. There might be a way for us to get lethal, we'll see. Anax, huh? Let's do that. And attack him with everything here. I think this is right. I don't know 100%. Um, Anax is also very, very good, so I could have seen a world where we would want to get that down uh, just so it's trading off. Like, I mean, like, one of our 10th Street Dodgers is going to die here. Um, but these are just going to kill everything that they they hit because they do have first strike. Um, this is going to come back with flying. That's not. Um, but at least we're kind of clearing the board a little bit, I, I think. We'll see. We'll see. If they left... Th so did they leave? Or was this just blocked by the goat, I suppose? Yeah. Okay. At least we got the moth off the field. That's kind of an annoying card. Uh, and now we have an unblockable threat here. So... Oh, very, very good. Do they pick the right card, though? Because if they pick Obosh, that doesn't do it. We can still swing in for lethal. That was, I think, a huge mistake on the opponent's end. Um, oh, no, excuse me. These do have flying, or er, lifelink. So they do gain some back. Fair enough. Um, that does get it done, though. Uh, let's activate... We're doing it now, it doesn't really matter though. Alright, despite a lot of misplays on my end, um, we did still win it. So that feels pretty good. Awesome. Cool, so, uh, thoughts so far. Um, and we'll do a, another video and kind of sum up our thoughts completely more in that video. But, uh, thoughts so far? I like it. It's not... Um, it doesn't, it feels a little more clunky, um, but you also seem to have more options, which is very rare for mono red in my opinion. So uh, it feels a little bit strange, but it, it feels nice. I mean, you get to do some really powerful stuff. Really, really like the fact that you can get in there with the 10th Street Dodger kind of no matter what, uh, unless you're against, you know, a defender's deck or something, uh, high alert. Um, but anyway, I, I really, really like this list. I think it's kind of fun. Um, I like the fact that Obosh doubles the damage. Feels a little bit like a win more card. Um, however, we did see it there. Like, you have to do something about it. Um, there they prison round it, obviously. But that, uh, that was very, very strong, in my opinion. So we'll give it a second or a second video here uh, very, very soon. So do stick around for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, really do appreciate all the support lately. It's been really fantastic. Uh, it's kind of crazy how awesome it's been. So thank you guys so much for that. And again, that full land cycle is on its way. So it will be there hopefully uh, this week in our store at itresolvesmtg.com. So just stay tuned for that. We'll, of course, post about it and talk about it when it's there. So thank you guys so much. I will see you very soon with part two with this Obosh Mono Red list.